Well, she is one of Ireland's biggest music stars, traveling the world as both a solo singer and as part of the hugely popular group Celtic Women. And now Chloe Agnew is coming here to Metro Atlanta to perform both streaming and in-person concerts later this month. And good day, let us Paul Milliken joins us live this morning. You had a chance to sit down with her and find out more. I mean, that is so I absolutely love her and love her in Celtic Women, too. So that's pretty lucky yes. that she got to do that. It, well, and it was cool to Zoom with her in yeah. Ireland, right? To yeah. do a Zoom with somebody who was in Ireland, especially appropriate this week, too. So it right. was really fun. <laughs> Chloe Agnew, as you said, shot to stardom as an original member of Celtic Woman, which has sold millions of albums around the world. I mean, a huge fan base. But the singer has also been busy writing music for herself, and fans are finally getting to hear some of that music this month. version of nothing compares to you i think is the best version of the song period i love you singing that song where do i send the check that song believe it or not was the first song that came on in the hospital when my mom had just had me it came on on the radio it certainly seems that chloe agnew was born to sing by the age of 14 she was an international star as part of the irish phenomenon celtic woman winning over audiences around the globe especially here in the south you have this connection to atlanta that seems really strong like how did that happen I, it's completely, it's like my second home now. One of my, my Celtic sisters, Lisa Kelly, uh, it based herself actually down in, uh, down in Peachtree City in that area where she has a wonderful voice academy and Irish dancing academy. And so obviously when she moved on from Celtic Woman, uh, her youngest is my godchild. So it would always be a, a regular spot I would go and, and spend some time. But it, we all have always just from day one, we've always had a really special connection with, with the people down there and we get such an incredible welcome. It's like an Irish welcome. They're rowdy. <laughs> They're ready to have a good time. They're ready for the night, y'all. This month, Agnew will be back in her second home, performing a live streaming show from Atlanta on March 26th. Obviously, um, it, it, it's Paddy's month, and needless to say, I'll be doing plenty of Irish things on online this month. But what's so exciting to me is this show is really unique because it is the first time I will ever perform a whole load of my original music. And some people will be familiar with the stuff that I've been releasing over the last few years, but I've got a whole load of new music that I've been writing over the last year uh, in lockdown. So uh, to get to create music with real humans it, for people is just really <laughs> exciting. I'll be watching and will I hear you sing Nothing Compares to You? Is it going to be? Just for you, Paul. Yeah. Hey, all right. Darling, absolutely. All right, Chloe, I'm going to hold you to that. You said just for me. Okay, so again, the streaming concert coming up on March 26th. And there's actually going to be two. There's an afternoon and an evening show. The reason for that Again, she's got fans all over the world, so it's for folks in different time zones. And by the way, it's going to be taped at John Driscoll Hopkins' studio, who, of course, we featured here on Good Day Atlanta as well. Meanwhile, I want to mention Chloe Agnew will also do some in-person shows at the Red Clay Foundry in Duluth on Sunday the 28th. So for ticket information on all those shows, you can head to our website, fox5atlanta.com. Look under the Good Day section. We'll post that here soon this morning. And Elise, she mentioned the new music. She just released a new single. The song is called Written on My Heart. I've got the video up on my computer right now. She filmed the video like on the streets of Ireland, and it's Ooh. really fascinating to watch because the streets are totally empty because wow. of the pandemic. And it's really kind of poignant and touching to watch that video and to think about, you know, the fact that globally we are all going through the same thing. It's incredible. Yeah, it really is, especially when you put it like that. But just so cool you had a chance to get to yeah. pick her brain a little bit, just hear kind of what she has going she's on. She's great. I mean, yeah, so talented. Yeah, well, she's great. I'm her, a big fan and I guess she too. better <laughs> dedicate that song to me. I know, I knew that was coming. <laughs> she better. <laughs> all right, Paul, thank you.